Hey, Sneaky Nerds back today, again. Right, today we have Pure OS 4. Based on Debian Wheezy, oh, yes, indeed, and comes in this gnome thing here. Bit of a gnome, old style, by the way. Gnome, gnome. And I'm running root, as you can see at the moment. And you should never do that, really, should you now? But this is what you do if you want to install it, because you have to use stuff, blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyway, that's enough of that. Basically, old-fashioned gnome. I can't say old-fashioned, but most of you like it. I mean, a lot of people still like it. You know, things are moving on, but you can have this gnome if you really so wish to do so. In the future, I don't know how you're going to do that, though, but hey, never mind. We're going to have a quick look around and see what you think. Now, it comes from France. Uh -huh. Bonjour. And all that. Yep, don't speak much French, really. Applications. It's all basic gnome here. Under accessories, we have our archive manager, our calculator. Docky, if you want docky. I've not put docky on the moment. No. Get it as your text editor, a root terminal, search of files, and multiple terminals in one window. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? You get a document viewer, you get a Gimpy, lovely, an image viewer, and LibreOffice Draw, because it comes with LibreOffice, of course. Under internet, we get FileZilla. Ooh, nice. iStuff and IceWeasel for your mail and web, respectively. And Transmission, which is probably the best torrent program out there, really, for Linux at the moment. It has been for quite a while, really, isn't it? As you know, Office, we have LibreOffice. It's all there, so I'm going to open LibreOffice right up just to show you what we're going down in the hood. LibreOffice 3, the Document Foundation, let's hurry up. La 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 la. By the way, I'm doing this in VirtualBox. I have installed it on a real machine, but I couldn't get record my desktop to work correctly for grabbing the audio for some reason. A bit of a bummer here. But as you can see, looks all right. I do like the way it's laid out here and the colours actually suit. Although sometimes they are a bit hard to read in certain instances, okay? Okay, where was we? Applications. Well, under sound and video, we get Brazero, as you, you would do. Songbird. Now, I actually like Songbird, although it's not a totally, totally free thing. Now, remember, Songbird is basically runs in your browser. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's a, it's a browser-based music thing. So, you know, it should be okay, it's okay for all of you. I've used it on PUP quite a few times because it's most full-featured for it. Whether or not you'd want to keep it on a big gnome system like this, I don't know. Yes, I accept the license, bloody, 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 blah. Installed in the British staff. La, 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 Is it going to come back? Or is that we? Oh, here we go. We don't want to get this, don't we? We just want to go straight to Songbird, really, doesn't we? Yes, we do. Right, this is Songbird. If you've seen some of my videos before, you will know it, okay? And you get plenty of other add-ons for like 7 Digital, which I use quite a lot. I use, also use Last FM, so that's another reason why I like it. And there are some other things here. So open up a bit. Let's have a look. That's better. You can see what we're doing now. Look. But as you can see, it runs actually in, in like a browser interface. Really easy to use. I like it. All right, it's not totally free. You have to say yes and yes to some things, but hey. Needs must at certain times. Remember, you can get other music players if you really want to. They're all in Synaptic. Yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay, back to applications, okay? Sound and video. You get a sound recorder, as you would do, and VLC, as you know, will play anything out of the box. If it doesn't, it can't be played most of the time, can it? System tools. A configuration editor, a disk utility, file browser, bloody blah, blah new logins, reporter bug, and a system monitor, which I'll open for you to have a quick look. Now, I've not actually installed this in VirtualBox. This is actually running from the live CD in the box. Now, I have installed it on an old machine. It's a, a 2 gig. Was it a 2 gig something? I think that's an AMD 2 gig old one. And it runs really fine and quite quick. I was really you know, impressed with it. The reason I haven't installed it in VirtualBox is it takes too bloody long. All right? It just takes too long, and I wanted to get another video out today. So, as the system I'm using it on, as you can see, it's using Wheezy, and the kernel is 2639.3 Pure OS. Okay. Process viewer, we'll have a quick look. There you go, look. Nice. Resources. All right. Now, as you can see, it's not really using any resources at all. No, it's not. And I've got quite a bit of swap enabled for it if it really wanted to. Mm. And also, memory usage is only 170. I'm impressed. Are you? Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's all right there. Okay. System tools. Where was we? That's it, really, isn't it? Places. There you go. All the usual places. Blah, 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 blah. This comes in a standard GNOME and a Lite, which is XFCE, oh, by the way. So you get your choice of what one you really want to do. You can get them direct from the site or a torrent. Under preferences, it's all basic stuff here. You know, there's nothing new. But I must say, I like the way it's all laid out. You know, yes. And on my machine, I've got Duck Docky enabled, and I do like the dock at the bottom. Although it does look like a lot of other OSs out there at the moment, if you know what I mean, because they're all using Docky at the bottom and there's a single panel at the top. 
So, you know, what are you going to do? Mm, I don't know what are you going to do. Mm, do that, do this, do that, do this. Anyway, G Parted is there. Lovely. Get your software centre. Shall I open it up for you to look? Yes. This is the unbranded software centre. Remember, Ubuntu started it all off years ago, and now this is what we get. Most of the Debian things are running it. So, let's have a look. As you can see, if you've used Ubuntu before, and even Debian itself now, they're all using this sort of thing, and it does make it easier for new users. Although, if you're an old user, you might still want to use it, and you might not. You know, it's entirely up to you. Yes, that's it, anyway. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, Control Center. Let's have a look at the GNOME Configuration Center. Very nice indeed. You all know what it does, because you've all seen it before. It's just named something different. That's all. Well, on the whole, it's really nice to use on a proper system, right? Live CD, it does work, obviously a bit slower, but it does work nice. But if you install it on a hardware system, I think you'll be really, really impressed with it. If you like this sort of gnome, nicey, nicey. 4.5 out of 5, I like it. So should you. Sneaky Linux, going out. I see you later. Bye, bye.